Guess the shoe, other shoe was bound to drop, huh? Yeah. I'm sure y'all sitting there laughing. All y'all that seen it. Man, this one was all about what if Thor was only child? So what if he grew up without Loki as his brother? So it changed him. Now he's like this carefree party boy. This episode was absolute just silly joke after joke after joke. Nothing was that cool in it. We got a we got a battle between him and Captain Marvel. Couple of cool spots. I laughed a couple of times. This one sucked, like story wise and everything. I mean, look, the, the voice acting and the animation was great as usual, but this. Why couldn't there have been, uh, I don't know, what if Loki and Thor switched places or something? Like, what if Thor became evil and Loki was good? Or what if Thor um, had a... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just not this. At the end, uh, for those of you, uh, spoiler alert, uh, Ultron shows up. Yeah. Ultron shows up. Wait till he opens his mouth and you see who's in his mouth. I was like, holy shit, this is what the what if should have been about. Man, this is getting two out of five woos because the voice acting and the animation was still good. But the story, like, they could have did something else. It was stupid and silly. It didn't work. It was like Thor Ragnarok on steroids or something. It was like way too extra. And Thor Ragnarok worked for me. I really, really liked Thor Ragnarok, and I didn't think that I was, but it had the perfect blend of action and coolness and, and Thor seriousness mixed with plenty of comedy. It actually worked. I thought it was going to be too silly for me. This, too silly, stupid, <sighs> no, don't think so. Post comments down below, let me know what you thought about, and if you enjoy my review of this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers will.